We know copper is becoming an increasingly prominent component of many investors' portfolios due to the increased importance of batteries. But it's not the only metal showing a serious uptick. Silver is, much like the commodity itself, shining at present in the world of stocks. According to global data, global silver production is estimated to increase by 8.1% to around 918.3 million ounces in 2021. And despite silver production being impacted over the past 12 months due to COVID, global data is forecasting a production rate of more than 1 billion ounces by 2024. That's an approximate 3.2% compound annual growth rate. So silver looks to have a promising future. And in just a moment, we'll take a look at what the largest silver reserve in Australia is and who owns it. But first, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest videos from Kaokai. Located in the northwest region of Queensland, the Cannington Underground Mine holds the crown for being the largest silver mine in Australia. Apart from producing silver, the Cannington Mine is also rich in lead and zinc. It's owned by South32 Limited, which is a newly formed division of previous owners BHP Billiton. In fact, the Cannington Mine holds one of the world's largest silver deposits overall. The mine itself has been in production for the last 20 years and requires 550 full-time employees and up to 300 contractors to keep up the production. At Cannington, South32 is able to reliably get the product from the mine to market on the back of a high-capacity processing plant, a shiploader at the port of Townsville and a road-to-rail transfer facility. Almost all of the country's silver is produced as a byproduct of underground copper or lead zinc mines. But South32's Cannington Mine is one of the very few silver deposits in Australia which produces silver as a principal extracted commodity. Looking at the company's financials, for the first half of the 2021 fiscal year, they recorded a statutory net profit after tax of $53 million, supported by a 9% reduction in the cost base and higher sales volumes. The strong production volumes and the realisation of further cost efficiencies on the back of lower operating unit costs have resulted in a 4% increase in underlying earnings to $136 million. South 32's net cash as of the end of January 2021 has increased to US $452 million, up from $275 million. That's as of the 31st of December 2020. And management is confident that South 32 is well positioned to benefit as the global economy recovers. Now, just before we wrap up, it's important to take a look at South 32's position on the stock market. The S32 share price has comfortably outperformed the ASX 200 average return of 12.67%, delivering a healthy return of 21.2%. However, when compared to its peers, the performance is less than stellar. Champion Iron, for example, delivered an astronomical 38.74% return year to date, primarily due to skyrocketing iron ore prices this year. Its other two peers, Blue Scope Limited and Sims Metals Management, have been hard to beat, delivering 26.91% and 23.93% respectively. Comparatively, South32 is the worst performer, but it's still a stock well worth looking into, especially with silver's growing prominence, combined with S32's focus on the metal itself. If you enjoyed the information contained in this video, then make sure to like, comment and share, and of course, click the bell icon and subscribe to the channel to stay apprised across all of our videos. For any further info, just head across to the website, calkinemedia.com. I'm James Preston for Calkine Media.